everyone and welcome back to another video. Today in this video I am going to be reviewing the new M1 MacBook Air with 16GB of RAM. So as I open this box that came in, I'm just going to let you know that on the, um, the keyboard from the last version, so a lot of people were complaining about the butterfly keyboard that was in the older um, MacBook Airs. So now they've replaced that with a new and improved scissor mechanism keyboard. All right, so before I actually take a look at what's inside the box, let's just admire on how nice and clean looking this packaging is. So they've just got a nice picture of the laptop on its side. I guess to emphasize just how light and thin it is. Um, it's got the MacBook Air um, logo, Apple logo, MacBook Air logo, and Apple logo. Um, on the back here, it says um, it is a MacBook Air with 13.3 inch space grey. It's got an 8 core CPU and 7 core GPU. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. Alright, so I'm really nervous to open this box. I um, It's been a long time since I ordered it. I ordered it, I think, mid-December, and now it's early February. So, yeah, I ordered it from Apple.com, and it got lost in China. Yeah, it's it's been a long time, but yeah, let's just peel this. Alright, that was probably not as satisfying as it could have been, but I mean, yeah, come on. Alright, so I've seen a lot of reviews about the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro online, and everyone, when they first open it, they just talk about how Apple must just put like a fragrance in here or something and it just smells so nice. So, um, get the lid off, and we will see for ourselves and oh my here she is the beauty i'm just gonna i'm gonna give it a smell all right so for all of you who are curious about what it smells like it doesn't really smell like much um oh it's gonna be weird but i think i'm gonna have to smell it again Alright, so what I've actually realised is that the cardboard underneath this laptop is actually um, nice and fragrant, so that's one thing. We're going to just put the laptop on the side for a second, and we're just going to take a look at what it is in this box. So yeah, a very nice box. The box is probably a bit bigger than it should be. Like, I mean, it's this wide, and this is how much is used, basically, but, oh yeah, it's got the charger, um, designed in Apple, California, just the same as what it's like with all other Apple products, um, it's a USB, I'm not too sure what cable it is, but it is the cable that you can charge your laptop with. So that's very important. And yeah, that's it for the packaging. So now, time to unleash the beast. So let's just take this off and let's just have a moment of satisfaction. That was probably not satisfying for you at all, but it was a weird moment for me as well, but yeah. Alright, opening it up. Oh, don't you love that sound? Um, let's take away this. Yeah, I'm just going to have a play set up and I'll catch you up in a little bit. Alright, actually, so quickly just before I... um. 
show you the laptop. I'm just going to take this packaging off the charger. Um, yeah. Just because, I don't know. All right, so I thought it would be helpful to know, like, is this laptop right for you? So, I got this laptop, and I'm going to be using it for, you know, my schoolwork, and for video editing, and for mainly just, like, day-to-day -day use, like, going on YouTube and Netflix and browsing Google and things like that. Um, so, Apple, on the website, they state that it has up to 15 hours of web browsing and up to 18 hours of movie playback. Alright, so I haven't really used it yet. I've just, like, set it up and stuff. But what I have noticed is that the keyboard is very nice. Um, I, I personally think that the uh, butterfly keyboard that was on the previous MacBook Air was more kind of satisfying. And that was a lot better. That was the best butterfly keyboard that I've ever seen. But, I don't know. These are also very good keys. Um, yeah. So, um, the... By the way, the trackpad is like really great. Um, it's pretty sensitive, and yeah, the, the, all the three finger swipes. Um, there's no real differences apart from the mechanics of the keyboard, but up the top here, it does actually have. So it's got three different keys. So it's got a spotlight search key. It has a dictation key, and I think that's a good night key. Good night mode key, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get up some 4K displays and yeah, I'll just show you that. This is, right now, you probably can't tell, but this is actually very good quality. Um, this is a 4K Ultra HD kind of um, video that I'm playing just off YouTube. And yeah, it runs really smoothly. I don't see really any hiccups or anything this scrubbing's very good um you can really only notice like kind of a difference when you are uh, on an 8k video so i'll just pop one of them up all right so this is um 8k and to be honest it's actually working really quite well um there's a bit bit of stopping here and there but all in all i actually think that the quality is very good and I'm actually pretty impressed with this little machine and just how well it can um, display videos. Okay, so another cool thing that I've noticed is that the speakers on this are incredible. Um, and obviously, of course, these you can actually connect it with like any of the latest um, Bluetooth, wireless Bluetooth speakers like the AirPods Max if you've got them. Uh, AirPods, I've got the AirPods uh, 2, they work really well with this and um, yeah, very keen to just, yeah, just use it really. Um, Alright, so another thing that I recommend getting is a hard shell. Now I definitely highly recommend this in case uh, hard shell, it is this one here, and I'm not sponsored by them by the way, um, but it's a hard shell case uh, with a crochet rigid so it's got like a like all these little bumps on it which i mean i'm not sure that it will necessarily protect it from you know getting if you dry, dropped it i don't think it would um necessarily stop it from getting dented but i do think that if you're like putting it into a bag which i also definitely recommend if you're putting it into a bag and taking it out of a bag this would be very handy just so that you don't get like you know just like little scratches and stuff on the um outside of your laptop so a case like this it um it's designed very well so that you can it's just got like these little clips on the edges here you just clip it on to the um so for example this is the clamshell whatever just like you know clip it onto that and then like you know it just doesn't really come off it stays on there you can take it off if you want to but most of the time you put it on you leave it on um yeah highly recommend a any case 
particular. You can go on online, you can get like really cool designs of like Michael Jordan and things like that. So yeah, I just got a clear one. Um, not necessarily for like a styling purposes or anything. Just mainly to um, protect it from getting scratched when I put it in my carry bag that I've got. Alright, so in terms of getting like a carry bag, I definitely recommend just getting one. It doesn't have to be expensive. I bought one for about 10 to $15. And um, I mean, obviously you can buy them for like 300 400 500 dollars But this one that I've got just has like a little strap that goes over your shoulder, which makes it easier if you're traveling to work or to school or wherever. Also, you can buy adapters and things. I know, so this one only comes with two charging lightning ports on one side and a headphone jack for like your AirPods, earbuds and stuff. But yeah, I think that getting an adapter, you can just plug it into here and it can um, have like USBs, uh, you know, lots of different things that you can just plug in and just use it and it's helpful. And I think, I think you can get them for about $100. You can get them cheaper or more expensive depending on what you want. I also definitely recommend getting like a, uh, an external hard drive. Um, just like you can get them for about $100 again and you can come with like a terabyte or two terabytes and it's just a way to store all your videos and everything like that onto it and then so that it doesn't slow down your device. Um, like lots of different prices and you know, do you want more of a rugged one, more of a stylish one or yeah. There's lots of different variables and different types but... I recommend just getting one if you're thinking of doing lots of either like video editing or like you know just even just having like videos and photos of like your friends and your family um, that you want to that you don't want to lose if you lose your laptop. So I think that wraps it up for today. Um, if you've watched until here, thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithms. Please watch my other videos and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.